All right, here with Wesleyan head coach Mark Woodworth, along with Donnie Semino, Asher Young, and Sam Elias, uh, moments after a 4-1 to loss uh, in the elimination game in the 2015 NCAA Division III New England Baseball Regional. Uh, coach, kind of uh, just an opening statement on, uh, on the game tonight. Well, we just finished an amazing four-year run with, this, with these seniors. Okay, they had 103 wins. Uh, they won the league the last two seasons. They won three straight little three titles. They won, they were division champs three straight times. They made the NCAA regional two straight times. Um, I have sitting here next to me the all-time career Wesleyan hits leader. I have the pitcher of the year in the NESCAC, Sam Elias, sitting right here. And we have the future in Asher Young, who threw an amazing game tonight. Um, the Wesleyan baseball has been put on the map by these guys, and there's a long history. This is the 150th anniversary of Wesleyan baseball, and what these guys did has carried over to the entire school, um, but it's also carried over to a lot of people who have been inspired, I think, by what you can do, by incredible work ethic, incredible camaraderie, team chemistry, by looking out for each other, by wanting to do something amazing, by giving yourself to the team, and uh, it is not for the faint-hearted. You have to be not afraid of putting your heart on the line, okay? And we've done that many times, and we've come out on the positive side. Tonight we put our heart out there, and we left it all out there, and it didn't work out, but that is just a tiny blip in what these guys have done. This has been the most amazing coaching experience of my life, and um, they're going to hopefully take away from this that this was uh, that they can do anything ever that they want to, based on what they just did. It was really, really something amazing. Uh, it leads me to, you know, as Coach mentioned, Asher, you had a very good start tonight against a very good lineup. Uh, when Coach kind of, when you knew your number was called, what was going through your mind, and how did you kind of prepare for this, you know, win or go home uh, matchup? Um, really just prepared the same way I would any other game. I knew that we had faced these guys before, and I had gotten some innings against them, and that was one of my better outings of the year. Um, so I just wanted to go out and replicate that. Um, and really just I was able to make my pitches and felt better as as the game went on. Um, and I mean really the best part was just the support that I got from everybody. Um, it wasn't a matter of whether I was figuring it out over the game, it was kind of a matter of me feeling it, that I was getting more confident in my teammates to score runs and more confident in my defense just the entire time. Um, so that kind of building up for me helped me perform decently tonight. You know, Sam, uh, you you appeared in, in all games of this regional. Uh, what kind of what does it say, kind of about you or kind of your staff, where you're you're just ready to go whenever? I mean, I, I would always feel bad when I I, I would start a game and wasn't able able to you know pitch in the next game because like I I want everything I can do to help the team and I you know being part of wins are great and being part of games like this like definitely feel bad especially you know in the execute out there in the field so. Definitely hurts, but you know when when you when you're on the mound, you're, you know you're in control, and I, I love that. Just going out there and being able to throw every game and not just be there sitting on the bench is great, and something that I'll definitely miss. Now, Donnie, um, certainly not the kind of the way you guys wanted to end it. Um, kind of kind of emotional scene over there with uh, your final huddle. Uh, what what coach tell you guys, and what was you know what was uh, going through your mind at that point? Um. You know, Coach told us, you know, we we won so much as a group. Um, we've done some incredible things. When I came in, uh, winning a NESAC title was something that was far and away. Uh, it wasn't a thought at the beginning of the season. And this year, we were expecting to win it. We worked to win it. You know, we there's just been such a culture change because of the senior class and because of Coach sticking with us through these four years and just staying with us you know there's been so many different you know guys that have stepped up over the past four years and you know we lost today we you know we, we're out of the regional but it doesn't take away from everything that we've accomplished as a group um i just couldn't be more proud and more 
humbled to be able to say that I played with these guys for four years, and you know we've won 103 games as a senior class. I, you know, I, every single win has been unbelievable, and it's just going to be an experience that I look back as one of the best of my life. Probably the best team I've ever been on. The best guys I've ever been a part of. Talk about picking each other up. Talking about different guys coming into big situations and doing it year after year for the past four years. You know, I can't say enough about my teammates. Thank you guys very much. Thank you.